Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, I haven't created a video for a while on YouTube just because not a lot of stuff came out in the PSP scene for the older models. A lot of stuff has been coming out for the PS Vita or Vita, whatever you want to, or however you want to pronounce it. But I figured I'd wait a little while so I can have some materials to work with um, just because I want to put, you know, like five or six videos out at a time. So making this video now. Uh, you can see right there clearly on my screen that my PSP is running on 6.60 God 6, um, say 5G, which is a PSP Go. <coughs> so, um, just really quick, prove to you that it's a PSP Go. I'm just going to simply go down here and you'll see the Bluetooth device settings. Only the PSP Go has Bluetooth except for the Vita. And uh, also, if I do this, you will see the clock come up. So. <coughs> Oh, there's the clock. So this is clearly a PSP Go. So anywho, um, word to the wise. So um, files I'm going to have you download. Uh, depending on what PSP model you have, if you have a 1000 or a 2000 version 1 model, you're going to want to download the permanent. And um, if not, then if you have a PSP 2000 version 2, 3000 or PSP Go, you're going to want to download the uh, light firmware version so um, <clears throat> there's two files possible for download here so I'm just gonna bear with me because uh, my fucking desktop is a wild mess right now because I have so much stuff to do and if it's on my desktop I remember to do it so <coughs> so the files I'm either gonna have you download is again if you have a PSP 1000 or 2000 uh, you're gonna download Ooh, wrong one. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna download the two three seven nine release six six zero me one eight. This is custom firmware six point six zero one point eight uh, patch fixing some of the bugs. So I'm um, skipping one seven just because one seven came out and then one eight came out like literally forty five minutes later. Um, so we're gonna forget about one point seven me. But anyways, so you're either going to download the permanent custom firmware, which is here, or the light custom firmware, which is here. So for the PSP Go model, I'm going to show you the light custom firmware, but they install both the same. So after you download whatever file you need, and these files will be available on my website, Software Reborn. So I'm just going to double click on this really quick and open it up. Now this is the light custom firmware package, but if it's not, you're just going to, if it's not the light custom firmware one, you're just going to see release 660ME. Um, <clears throat> this one is going to be LME, so if you're using a 2000 version 2, 3000 or go, this is the one you want to look at. Double so click on that and you're going to open it up and you're going to see a translate folder, PSP folder, and the LEDA folder. So, um, PSP, game, and you have the launcher and installer. So you're going to want to put both those folders in the game folder. And also the LEDA.PRX, you're going to want to replace whatever one you have in there with this one because this is the updated one just to be sure this is for your ISOs and CSOs to work properly so um, I'm just gonna pop this into USB really quick disable the remote joy so it comes up <clears throat> there we are continue without scanning and open this up now I'm going to have two things come up on my go because I have a memory stick in here. Now it doesn't really matter where you put um, this installer. You can put it on the HDD. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because that's where all my main stuff is. So first things first. Let's go into the SE plugins folder. And I'm going to replace the LEDA.PRX. So I'm going to just take this, drag and drop it. And put it over. If you have one, just move and replace it. <clears throat> and the readme text, the LEDA, you're going to want to put that written transcode in the game text document. So open up your game text document and you're going to write, if it's on the HDD of the PSP Go, you're going to write EF0. In all other cases where it's on a memory stick, you're going to write MS0. But in my case, it's EF0 colon slash SD plugins slash LEDA dot PRX space one. And I have it written right there already. But if you don't have it written, write it, exit it, and save. <clears throat> get out of the SE plugins folder and go to the PSP folder and then you're gonna go to the game folder 
and I'm going to go back in my extracted files now, go to the PSP folder and the game folder, highlight both the launcher and installer, and simply all you're going to do now is just drag and drop that into the game folder. Inside the installer folder you should see an eboot, and inside the launcher folder you should also see an eboot. That's just like that. And now, once you have all that files set up on your PSP, whether it be on your memory stick or your, you know, HDD, if you're using PSP Go, you can exit this, and I'm just going to exit USB mode. And now, I'm going to enable the USB um, Remote Joy. So, give me one second. Reset my VSH. <coughs> Three, two, one. All right. So there's the PSP screen. So I'm gonna move this over to the center here. Now, what you're gonna do is either if you put it on your memory stick, you're gonna go to your memory stick. If you put it on the HDD, you're gonna go to the system storage. So I put it on the system storage. So I'm gonna go here, and the LME installer for 660, and then this is the LME launcher for 660. So basically, what we're gonna do right now is. Um, just gonna launch this. Oops. I got a load error. I forgot to install. Hold on. If that happens is automatically gonna just boot back to the XMB. <clears throat> Come on. Or it can crash. That might happen too. No big deal though. Don't worry. It won't break your PSP. For mine's turning on. Now I just gotta recover my uh, firmware here. <clears throat> Alright, so while I'm on, you know, official firmware, I'm just gonna run the LightME installer. Now you wanna run the installer first, because if the files aren't there, it's not gonna be able to detect anything. Now it's just going to unpack automatically and do it. It's going to be launching. Please wait. <clears throat> and then it's just going to show you all the changes and everything. And uh, you're just going to hit X to install the modules. So I'm pressing X right now. Installing the modules. Then <clears throat> it's automatically going to launch to the ME custom firmware. So here we go. I forget if it launches or not. System settings, system information. Okay, so you're still on official firmware. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my system storage and I'm going to run the LME launcher for 660. So Run that now. <clears throat> it must be amazing staring at my blank remote joy light version 19. <laughs> model 5G. Exiting. It's going to detect your model. It's going to launch the firmware. Now, plug this back in. This isn't responding. It wouldn't respond to save its life. So I'm just going to close this stupid thing. Close the program. Cancel. Get back up. Close the goddamn thing. There we go. We have visual. <laughs> Alright. So. I'm going to go to select and I'm going to go to my recovery menu really quick.
All right. Skip the game boot, hide corrupt icons, use UMD video patch in XMB. I don't know. UMD mode. ME driver. Hide the MAC address, your fake regions. Uh, USB, protect flash and USB mount, battery charge from USB, enable, blah, blah, blah. Speed up my memory stick access. Advanced. <laughs> hmm. Blah, 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 blah. It's got the battery configuration. You can format Flash 1 and Flash 2. And also, let's see, plugins, registry hacks, miscellaneous. Text color. Ooh. You can change the text colors in your recovery menu. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm just gonna exit this real quick. <clears throat> now, every time you leave your recovery menu, it looks like it resets the VSH automatically. Which that doesn't surprise me. Select, overclock my CPU. And let's see, exit that and come over to system settings, system information. 6.60 LME 1.8 is the custom firmware I am on right now. So you have successfully installed the custom firmware LME. So with that said, like I said before, both downloads will be on my website. And I apologize for the short little pause because um, when I figure this stuff out, I like to figure it out on the video. So if you run into the same problem, you guys can solve it the way I did. So yeah, so rate, comment, subscribe to my channel. Also, like I said, the downloads for the permanent custom firmware and light custom firmware will be on my website, Software Be Born. You can go there. The link will be down in the description below, as well as a written description on how to do this correctly. Um, so also, follow me on Twitter. And other than that, just, uh, yeah, pretty much pay attention to the Twitter and stuff and all that fun jazz. And uh, keep up to date with this, and I'll be coming out with more videos coming your way. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your new custom firmware with less bugs, thank Christ. And I will talk to y'all later. So enjoy your day. This is Rob signing off.